So at the top of the page, if A, B, and C, A, B, C, and D rather, represent polynomials with B not equal to zero and D not equal to zero, that must mean that these two numbers that I'm referring to for a, uh, B and D are in the denominator because the denominators can never be zero still. So A over B times C over D, when you multiply two fractions, you multiply straight across. So the two numerators, A times C would be AC, and B times D would be BD. Now numerically, if I multiply two-thirds times five-sixths, what would I get? Two-thirds times five-sixths. So two times five, ten. Three times six, eighteen. Your answers, we talked about this earlier in the year, always need to be in simplest form. So I know they're divisible by two. Two goes in there five times, two goes in there nine times, and five and nine have no greatest common factor, so that's simplified. So to the steps here to multiply rational expressions, the first thing you want to do is factor the numerators and denominators, and then cancel common factors. And these two steps are the steps last class to simplify. Step three, we're going to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. We multiply straight across, okay? And then our answer will already be in simplest form because I simplified ahead of time. So number one, multiply each expression. So take a minute to factor all expressions that can be factored. And this question, there's only one expression that can be factored, and it's the numerator in the top left. So the factors, there's no GCF. Factors of six that combine to a one are three and two. Because I want a negative one in the signs, it multiplies to a negative product, they have to be different. So it's going to be negative 3 plus 2. And use the other expressions to help you cheat a little bit. Here's the x plus 2. Here's the x minus 3. So those are probably going to be factors of other expressions so you can cross them out. Before we start crossing out though, let's do the restrictions. For this, x can't be equal to what? Positive 3. And then for this one, it can't be equal to negative 2. Now when I cancel this with this, this with this, we're left with 2 over 1. But please don't write 2 over 1. What is, in simplest form, 2 divided by 1? 2. All right, so the factors in number 2. I don't have room, so I'm going to bring it to the right. So the factors of 4x squared minus 4x, that's a GCF type factoring. They both have a 4 in common, they both have an x. So this is 4x times x minus 1. The expression below is a trinomial, so I'm looking for the factors of 3 that combine to 2. 3 is prime, so it's going to be 1 and 3. Positive 2, I have to have a positive 3 minus 1. Keep the multiplication, and then factors of negative 6 that combine to 1 would be x plus 3, x minus 2. There's the 4x. Restrictions, let's do those first. I'm going to have 1, 2, 3 restrictions because I have the three expressions in the denominator. So for the first one, x can't equal positive 1. Good. We're really good with the binomials. What about this monomial 4x? It's always going to be for monomial 0. Good. Some of you have that memorized. Now I can go ahead and start canceling. Um, cancel, cancel. And then 4x with 4x. All expressions that are exactly the same. So I'm left with x minus 2 over 1, because when I cancel everything out, there's a 1 there. So it's just x minus 2. 
Let's skip to number four, only because it looks a little bit different. I don't have a fraction times a fraction. But to make the expression that's not a fraction of fraction, the one on the left, I just put a what underneath? A 1. Because anything divided by 1 is itself. So this is really y plus 1 over 1 times, they're using the parentheses for multiplication, y times, we have dots again, the 1 comes first, so it's going to come first in my parentheses, plus, minus, and then y, y. I can cancel the y plus 1 with the 1 plus y. They're exactly the same because uh, addition is commutative. So up top, I do have 1 times y going straight across, y. And then 1 times 1 minus y is 1 minus y. You can't change the order. You can't reverse it because subtraction is not commutative. Now I'm going to quickly talk through, I know we said we're going to skip number three, but what if number three was slightly different? So I'm just going to talk through, copy it down if you want. This is x plus two times x minus two. This is another dots, x plus one times x minus one. The one on the right is GCF, x plus one. Now the restrictions down here, I skipped by accident number four. So for these two expressions, it would be negative 1 and 1. Up here, the restrictions would be negative 1, 1, 0, and negative 1 again. I don't need to write the negative 1 twice. Now to cancel everything out, mm, we've got x plus 1, x plus 1. Can I cancel? Oh, right here I made the mistake. And I caught myself because I'm like, I can't cancel anything else out. This has to be 2x. So now I can cancel those. And I can't cancel anything else out. So the answer for this one is x minus 2 over x minus 1 times x. It says at the top if a is a real number. And b, x, and y are non-zero real numbers. So the restrictions are harder here because you have to look at the original denominator. So again, b can't be equal to zero, y can't be equal to zero, but then you're going to flip it, right? So we do the keep change flip. This, I'm going to do k for keep. C for change, flip. So now I have A over B. Notice the A doesn't ever go to the denominator. What happens to the X, though, when you flip it? It goes to the denominator. Can the denominator ever be zero? No. So in a division problem, you need to take a look at, if you have a highlighter, all three of those spots. The A never moves to the bottom, so I don't need to look there for restrictions. And then when you multiply straight across, it's A times Y over B times X. So we turn the problem into a multiplication problem by inverting the fraction. which just means to flip it. And I think this was my parenthesis for keep, change, flip. And the first one, and number five, now, this is your preference. But as I do the keep, change, flip, I don't copy it down exactly. I save some writing by factoring as I do the keep, change, flip. So when I factor 5x plus 15, that's 5 times x plus 3. x squared minus 9 is x plus 3 times x minus 3. So as I keep it the same, I factor. Change division to multiplication and then flip. So this now goes up top. And the GCF of 4x minus 12 is 4. 
GCF for 10x squared and 10x is 10x. And then I have x plus 1. The restrictions, if you have a highlighter, come from these three spots. The A, this expression here, never gets flipped. It never gets brought down to the denominator. So for the restrictions, I have x not equal to what here? Negative 3, positive 3, go up top. Positive 3 again, I don't have to write it. I already wrote it. What for this one? 0, this one, negative 1. Now we just start crossing things out and write what's left. So I'm going to cancel an x plus 3 with an x plus 3, an x minus 3 with an x minus 3. Uh, 5 goes into 10 twice. So up top, sometimes I, if you see on my answer key, if I circle, it just means I'm going back to circle what I didn't cross out so I don't forget it. So I didn't cross out the 4, so the 4 is up top. I didn't cross out the 2, and I didn't cross out the x plus 1. So here's the answer. <coughs> Yeah, go back to number 5. I mean, I circled, but I did forget the x there. So, again, when you cross out, don't really cross out, but it's going to happen. You might forget something, so go back and double check. Thank you, Mackenzie. All right, number 6. I'm going to move faster with this with the factoring. Keep change flip GCF of x, so it's x times x plus 2. Cannot factor x minus 1, so that stays the same. Change flip. So it's going to be factors of 3 that combine to 2, plus 3, minus 1. So then x, factors of negative 6 that combine to 1, x minus 3, x plus 1. Yep. The factor here should be x minus 3 times x plus 2. It's got to multiply to 6. Now let's do the restrictions. So I'll highlight again in yellow. Restrictions are coming from these three spots, all but the top left. So x, I'm going to write it over here. x can't be equal to 1, negative 3, 1 again. You don't have to write it twice. Positive 3, negative 2. Then we start crossing things out. x plus 2, x plus 2, x minus 1, x minus 1. And we have x times x plus 3 over x minus 3. Can't do anything with x plus 3 and x minus 3. In number 7, because the 1 minus x is not a fraction, and I'm going to have to flip it, I will put it over 1. So now when I go, uh, do the keep change flip, this stays the same. So it's going to be x minus 2, x minus 1. So keep change, now flip the ones up top. Restrictions, the one is nice. I have to look here, and because I only have two expressions with an x in, there's only two restrictions. The restriction for that, monomial, zero. One minus what is zero? One. Now I start canceling. The two subtraction expressions, they're almost the same. They're still subtracting the same two numbers, but in a different order. Can do negative 1. Bottom, we have the 4x left. 